związku z tym, nie przedłużając, mam tę przyjemność zaprosić Was na online entertainment. Szanowni Państwo, nasi goście. Felicia Day, wielkie brawa! Stać Was na trochę więcej. John Bailey. I Jesse Cox. Thanks. Szanowni Państwo, są Wasi. Hi, you guys. Hi. Happy Sunday. Who's very hungover? <laughs> Yay! Who's lying about not being hungover? All the rest of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except the baby. I don't have a microphone. <laughs> what? Where's your microphone? It was under my butt. Oh, okay. I think I got one here somewhere, huh? How far in your butt was it? <laughs> not far enough. <laughs> How far was it? It's like the greatest joke. <laughs> no, you know, not that far. Mm, not that far. Um, we're very excited to be here. You guys, how, what is, before we, we're going to have questions. So there's going to be someone with, we can't see, we are blinded. Is there someone out there with a Hold microphone? up your microphone. Is it right here? Oh, okay. This poor woman is going to run around this arena oh, look, and take a bunch questions. Of people. Yeah, there are a lot of people back oh, okay. there. They just, they're sleeping back there. <laughs> Who's going to, who sat in the back of the class? I was always a front row sitter in school. Where did you sit in the, in the class? I was like, I was middle of the room. Middle? I was middle of the room, like, doing all the voices of the other people, getting them in trouble. <laughs> so that way, they could never really tell where the sound was coming from, so they didn't know who it was. Through your voice? <laughs> I sat in the back. Yeah, I, just, I, knew, I it. knew it. I knew it. I, I knew, knew you were it. back sitter. I so sat in the call. back, and I, uh, <laughs> in math, I played on my TI-82 calculator, the game Drug Wars, <laughs> in, uh... <laughs> Science, I set stuff on fire. Yeah. In um, English, I wrote erotic fan fiction. <laughs> and uh, wait, 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 what was your erotic fan, about the teacher? No, about the teacher? I'm asking. I only thought about the teacher. I didn't write it, please. Okay. okay. Uh, now I want to read that. Well. This voice. <laughs> Steve Cox presents yes. erotic fan fiction from his childhood. Um, there was a girl. I liked her. I want to kiss her face. <laughs> That's it usually very, how it starts, yeah. It is very good sexy time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's usually how it ends. <laughs> this is great. We've done the whole, we don't need to see the movie. We see the trailer gave it all away. Got it. Yeah. Who was your erotic fan fiction about? Um, they were all goofs. It was all, it wasn't real. It was all stuff it was like. Goofy, the Disney character? About Goofy? <laughs> yeah, You're well, you see. You're a man. But you know, technically he wasn't I, a dog. He was a human. I'm a huge fan of Donald Ducking in my own personal life, where I just wear a shirt and no pants. <laughs> that's, that's ducked up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I thought Donald Duck wore. Oh, I thought he wore pants. No, that's shirt. Mickey no, Mouse. No pants. Mickey, Mouse Mickey Mousing shirt. is just wearing pants. Oh, yeah. is that a? It's a verb. Mickey uh, Mousing. Yeah, D Donald Ducking Mousing. and Mickey Mousing. I didn't know that. That's really cool. What does Minnie Mouse do? She just wears, just a bow, I mean, right? She's got those pantaloon things. Pantaloon and and as a suspenders With the too. Frilly, yeah. 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 Yeah, but no bra. Does she really need one, though? She's a mouse. She's a mouse. I don't want to spoil this for you. She's a mouse. Most Wouldn't she need a bra with, like, six different parts? Six different parts, yeah, that's so. what I'm saying. You need, like, it would that's be, what like, those suspenders uh, are like covering the character up. in Star Wars, Lilo, the Rancor owner. Or Lilo, or yeah. From uh, Fifth sure. Element. Anyway. <laughs> so, welcome Ooh, to the show. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something amazing? Yeah. So, I've been learning as much Polish as possible. <laughs> Thank you. Not that much. Um, how much is did that, you, Jesse? How much is it? <laughs> enough to know. Koopa means poop. Wow, now, that, you just take, changed Mario for me wait, forever. Thank you. I know, Mario. King Poop. Bowser is king of the Koopas. King thus, of the he's poops. king of the poops. King of the poopas. Poopa troopas. <laughs> Poopa troopas. The poop kids. <laughs> It's not spelled the same way, but it doesn't matter. It sounds the same way. Does that make everyone giggle? Like when you play Mario? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, you... 
Sorry, I have to go Koopa. Koopa right? from your Dupa. <laughs> Dupa is your butthole? Yeah. Jeez, see, now uh, I want to read this Koopa at the end of Honest Taylor. I believe I have what the is Koopa it? from my Dupa. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's going to be etched in my tombstone now. That's <laughs> it's, it's what I... Especially with those stuffed cabbages. I mean, there's a lot of Koopa involved, let me tell I, you. I think I learned it was uh, Dupa Robbie Koopa. Wow. You know? you're Is that good enough? You're Is, fluent. You're fluent. I really am. You're Might really well good at Koopa. Here. Until Might you well ask me to pronounce something with a ch in it, and I'm done. <laughs> I can't do it. Ch 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 Huh? Yeah. See? All I heard was Lani and no. Laura. Laura. <laughs> what is the one? You, have you guys been to Poland before? Yes. I've never been outside of the U.S. before. You've been here before? Time. Many times. Wait, many times? Yeah. You still only know Koopa and Poopa? That's it? <laughs> That's your threshold? You should I'm, be speaking for us by now. I'm an American. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. Now, why you've been to the, have you been to the cons here or just for fun? You've come to uh, I work a lot with CD Project. Oh. Yeah. Dude, Ooh, I don't know what that is. Explain, please. Uh, it's, the Witcher. The, yeah. the company, the, uh, the Witcher. The delightful oh, company behind Witcher and Gwent and, fingers crossed, Cyberpunk. I know. Very, very soon. Where is Cyberpunk? Woo. I'm so excited for yeah. it. They're Isn't amazing. that the PBS show, Cyberpunk, or something with Gilbert Gottfried? <laughs> oh, that what? was cyberspace. Never mind. I was no. <laughs> what? Right, totally. Wow. The um, 80s called. They want their commentary back. <laughs> but uh, I... Uh, I do a lot of work with them, and if you've played Witcher, probably not you guys, but if you play in the English version, uh, I'm a farting troll that you can kill. So, so you're good at Koopa in wow. video games, too. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I Koopa and Dupa <laughs> all day long. He's got digital it's Koopa my, for days. That's my theme. That's why I know it. <laughs> it's the one thing I'm really good why at. Why did I not kill you? Is it a side quest? or? Uh, if you're in Skellige and you sort of wander down towards a cave, uh, myself and two of my friends are in a... It is, uh, it, is it called Jesse Cox the Troll? The literally, it's called Jesse. <laughs> the troll's name is Jesse, and you can murder him. And the entire conversation we have is that uh, Dodger, who you know as well, is yeah. in this. Uh, the conversation is that she's farting a lot, and I am like, just stick a finger up your butt so it'll stop. Wait, the trolls say that? Yes. This is a real thing. <laughs> it's, I'm not joking. This is really in the game. I know that there's... Is it really? Oh, my God. Really? Now you get it. I'm the one farting. Wow. And when you kill me, you prevent the Koopa. Wow. Well, I see. I always heard when you die, you actually Koopa from your Poopa. So does your troll Koopa when you, when you get killed? Or um, is it with there's something up there to prevent that? It's a fantasy setting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So not really. Because my mom always told, told me to wear clean underwear just in case. I'm like, it's not going to help. If I die, they're not, it's going to be Koopa. Lots and lots. I'm, I don't <laughs> intend to wear underwear. <laughs> Ever. You're not wearing underwear right now. No, I'm angry I'm wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing two pairs of underwear stitched together to make sure that it actually fits all the way around me. You're wearing three but layers of underwear. Yeah, I have so to. Much There's underwear. so much Koopa involved. Yeah. Well, all the cabbage my baby has this? diapers. You should try those. They don't make, I, I've tried to find diapers my size. It's really, really hard. No, Remember when this was a store. panel about them asking us questions? Oh, yeah. You guys need to ask them. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, we're having a panel. <laughs> Welcome to the Koopa Poopa panel. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a round of applause for giving the panel back to the audience. Yeah, I felt bad because, uh, you know, there was just, I looked at the front row and there was this girl who was like, I don't give a fuck about Koopa. I don't want to, I want to know how Jared and Jensen smell. I don't want to talk to them about Smell like Koopa. Jesse Jocks' <laughs> Poopa. Um, you guys, we have, it, raise your hand if you'd like to have a question. We can't see it, but they can. We can't, but the, the one woman with the one mic, there she goes, and she's off. Run, we love run, you. Run. Running the corner, running the corner. We love you. Uh, hi there, guys. I have a question for John. Uh, I wanted to know about uh, working with Ryan Reynolds on the Honest Trailer because, well, Deadpool 2 is running around right now in the cinema. So how was it? Did you guys go to the booth together? Did you do it yes. separately? Yeah, we went hand in hand. We walked together down the thing. <laughs> tell a tale, man. Was, uh, tell what are his kisses like? I was, I was so glad I wore my brown pants. Yeah. Uh, no, we were. I get this question a lot. We were not even in the same countries. He was actually in Europe at the time, and I was in. I was in Memphis, and it was kind of. It was a very odd back and forth because there was a huge. It was like now, like there's a huge time difference between there and there. So, but it was. It was really funny because I got a. I got a message, like 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> And it was like, Ryan wants to know a suggestion for what, like, what microphone. It's like, Ryan wants to know my advice. That's so cool. 
He really wants to know? I wanted to know like what mic what, what he should use to record it and like all wow. this like Wow. Ah. That's really cool. Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't think I don't think honest trailers would have been as widely accept, accepted in mainstream. Like I used to try not tell people. <laughs> like in professional world, like I would work for something for Sony and they're like Oh, we, you sound familiar. What do we know? I was like, oh, this thing on YouTube called Honest. I was like, oh, so you're not a real voice guy. You're just a fake one. I'm like, oh, that's you're killing painful. me. You know. That's so, but painful. now because of Deadpool, I think that it's like more mainstream. I'm like, oh, you're. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Honest. So now it's cool. But it, it, I was a hipster. You got the stamp I was doing of it Ryan. before it was cool. Yeah. So, but uh, and then I booked the Hitman's Bodyguard, and I got a hashtag epic voice guy from Ron Reynolds, and I was like, that's Amazing. the coolest thing ever. And I have all my friends from back home like, hey, you remember me? I was that guy that picked on you in school, man. You're really cool. You know. I'm like, I don't know who you are, dude. <laughs> I was like, you're just some Koopa Poopa guy. Yeah. Guy. No, I really wished. I would, if, if we do Deadpool 2 and he's actually in the country, I would love to just, you know, I mean, we're basically BFFs now, so, yeah. He liked like at it. least, like, two of my tweets, so we're basically best friends. Oh, he, does he follow you on Twitter? No, he does not follow me. No, he does Mark not. Ruffalo, <laughs> Mark Ruffalo follows my wife, even though he hung out with us at VidCon, like, all, all weekend. He follows my wife, but he doesn't follow me. <laughs> Watch out, man. Watch out. My wife's more famous than I am. <laughs> But yeah, I got I got a happy birthday from Dwayne Johnson. That was pretty cool. Dwayne, The Rock gave you a. Does no, he follow you? It was you? Dwayne the Pebble Johnson. It was his little brother. Oh. Uh, uh, no, it's yeah. I got I got a. Hey, go out there and have. I tell you what. What can I say except you're welcome? All right. No. Uh, he's like, yeah, go out, get drunk, have fun. Just kidding, but yeah, have a good, have a great birthday, John. What? Like, That's the cool. I don't have any stories like this. <laughs> at all. What, I was once followed by Felicia Day, and it was pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't follow me. I don't. Th I bet it, neither one of you guys follow me, but I follow your stuff all the time. I um, right. I once, you know, there's a way that you can search who's verified and follows you, and I have the weirdest people. Like Raquel Welch follows me, and I'm like, why is she follow me? I mean, she's a she's the most well preserved woman body ever. Like she lives in a cryogenic tube and does Pilates 15 hours a day. Yeah, but she also plays World of Warcraft apparently. What? And Raquel just, Welch? I'm making this up. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm I totally fell for that. I, did too. I was like, she's 75. <laughs> this guy's she's so in full a Pilates of machine. She's getting, you know, I'm like, I'm going to be the she, hottest old woman. And she's ever. leveling an orc. <laughs> she's leveling an orc. So I had the same thing. Like, I was just check. I did the same thing every once in a while, check to see if verified. And Patrick Warburton was following me. I was like, oh, wow. I was That's like, pretty good. Hey, guys, maybe we could go have a beer later, guys. I mean, that'd be really great. You know, we just got to go out and uh, get drunk or whatever. It'd be great. <laughs> and then we could talk about our series of unfortunate events. <laughs> I love the new Tick. Have you watched that new show? The Tick. I did, but I loved. Patrick but it's not Gordon him. As the yeah. Tick. I know it's so not him. Much. I didn't watch him. Uh, that the original Tick. Like way back when. Yeah. I didn't. No, I was too young. <laughs> I'm actually friends with a guy who did the original voice of the Tick. I didn't really? I, I, we'd met and we talked, and he he actually helps a lot of voiceover guys with hardware stuff. There's oh, a that's service cool. Called, uh, well, I'm not gonna go into that. But I was like, and I didn't realize that he was <laughs> him, and then I had the, that epiphany later on. I was like. That's the guy who's a spoon, and I had no oh. idea all that time. That's pretty cool. I guess voiceover people are really underappreciated because you don't well, get yeah, recognized. because nobody knows what they look like. No. You know what I mean? You shouldn't know because then you could do more than one voice. Well, I mean, one of my favorite stories, my very first trip to Los Angeles, I was actually there to sign my contract to actually kind of launch my career into trailers and whatever, and uh, I had been asked to go out to eat with uh, Kylie Bear, who's the voice of Hadouken, and last time on Track and Policy, and I was like, we've been friends for a while. And Patrick Fraley, the original voice of Krang from Ninja Turtles, was there. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. And I go outside. Well, Vanessa Hudgens from High School Musical came in. And all of a sudden, I look outside, and I'm, I was getting done. And there's a paparazzi in the bushes trying to get pictures of Vanessa Hudgens. And then I hear this. Was she sitting with you? She was in the booth right next to us, yeah. What? Oh, no, not she with She was with you. her friend. I was like, you... Not why me. Would, yeah. Why okay. would she sit with me? Like I don't know. I mean, not to be a jerk, but I don't see where you guys have anything in common. <laughs> no, but and, I, and my, I knew my I knew my wife was a big fan, and I was like, "Would you mind if I get a picture?" She's like, "You're not gonna put it on the internet." And I was like, "Oh, as opposed to what you put on the internet? Okay." Uh, <laughs> when, uh, so, what uh, restaurant were you at? Uh, the Jinkies Cafe. Well, back when it was called Jinkies Cafe. Now oh, it's Cafe. is it not? My old it's intern Jinkies. Sasha. You, no, her maybe. dad owns all the Jinkies. Oh, cool. Yeah. Also, I saw Gwen Stefani one time at Hugo's. Oh, that's so cool. That's a good story, isn't it? But you guys I, I don't heard care. This, like, I heard this, so there's paparazzi, and 10 feet away, I hear this big, <laughs> and I look over, and Kevin Michael Richardson, the voice of Shredder, like, and, and Phil Lamar from Mad TV, and from you know, Green Lantern, the voice of Jon Stewart, and, like, they're, and they're 10 feet, and nobody even notices them. I'm like, oh, you guys are freaking, you know, I'm, I'm just all these voices. I'll have my first trip to LA, and when yeah. I go back to like, sign my contract, the guy that's, he's like, you, you saw how many famous people? He's like, I've lived here for 10 years and never met one celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> my first day there, I meet like five. <laughs> I mean, people don't recognize anybody but actors and reality stars. 
<laughs> Which I don't recognize either because I don't read the tabloids. <laughs> I don't yeah. either. Um, I'm so afraid I'll see myself. Next question. On That's one question in 15 minutes. Let's do a little bit better, huh? You might need to have anything about Koopa. Any Koopa, <laughs> Koopa questions. Any question about Koopa Poopas? Uh, it's actually a uh, kind of related uh, question. Uh, what? To <laughs> Je Jesse, uh, I'm really Who glad. Who is this mysterious? <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah. You had like I, a voice of God moment. I'm, yeah. uh, I'm really glad that you mentioned your uh, love for the Polish language, and I think all of us can agree that you have the basics uh, covered uh, Thank already. Thank you. <laughs> the basics are Koopa and Poopa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Dupa, sir. Dupa. Sorry. Koopa and, and Dupa. So uh, I think it's time for the more advanced part of our Don't language. Don't you do this. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm hold totally going to do question. this. Are you a Kuba? No, I'm not. I'm not. It's Over the last three days, I've learned people named Kuba are terrible monsters. It's not the revenge. It's not that. The worst kind of people. Wow. I'm, I'm really mad at a lot of people right now because they've been... You, don't, been even oh, wanna, you. you don't even want to know. How do you spell that? K-U-B-A. It's like... And Koopa is K-U-P-A. So maybe it's because... That's right. Koopa, maybe Koopa. it's close to... Monster poop. Yeah. yeah. Monster poop. When you have twins one day, can you name it Koopa and Dupa? If I did Your not babies? have kids, I would have. Okay, now. good. As long as they build a city and then a thousand years from now, legends are told of them, the two Millions twins. Millions of years ago, yeah. there were two twins, Koopa and Koopa. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a question? Yeah, wait, was there uh, a question? I'm sorry. Yes, uh, the question is coming. Uh, so, uh, the advanced part. Coming uh, soon. <laughs> go on. The advanced part. Uh, Jesse, uh, can you say, Chcąc brzmi w Chcinie? Yeah, Jesse, come on. Go ahead. Let's hear it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the first word? Chcąc. Chcąc. Good enough. Brzmi. Brzmi. W Czcinie. W Czcinie. Chcąc. Okay. It sounds like a big... It sounds... It sounds what, like what a big say? Wow. Yeah, it sounds like I'm going to... What, did you, what did you just say, though? Yeah, what did I just say? Uh, a cockroach is uh, making sounds. Uh, a beetle. A beetle. A beetle, a beetle is making uh, sounds in uh, in the grass. Okay. Why would you no, ask no, him no, to no, make no, the beetle know. sounds in the grass of all things to ask him to say? How? How? Do, wait. Hold on. How? How? I want all of you to answer this. How do I say? Jesse Cox makes Jesse me Cox. happy in my pants. Go. <laughs> Everyone, how do you say that? Nobody wants to do Jesse it. Jesse Cox, Kuba de Booba. No, Kuba de Duba. Let me have this set up so I get to watch a crowd say, Jesse Cox makes me happy in my pants. Nobody wanted to do it. There was a train could drive through the silence that happened when you asked I'm aware. That. Next question. I'm aware. They're way smarter than Americans. Americans are like, yeah, I'll say it. Yeah. yeah. They're smart. They don't want to go on record for this. Okay. Jesse you... sprawia, że dochodzę. See, you all could have got an applause, but well, you didn't want to. You're going to get a piece yeah. of that. This guy's going to get this water. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a Pyrcon exclusive this, this water, water bottle. It's full of his, his wow. Koopa. That touched Felicia Day. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is definitely the best convention I've ever been at. Now. <laughs> got Felicia Koopa on it. Yeah. Wait, why is it on her sleeve? She has a kid. My butthole is right there. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I poop out of here. The things you learn. It's a deltoid anus. <laughs> you heard it first here. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, okay, I, I got a question. Um, uh, why Hollywood movies are so expensive? Uh, I, I've made a movie because for... Because actors are greedy. <laughs> uh, I made a movie for uh, $1,000 or something. And if I w would have uh, $1 million, I, I could make a movie like Lord of the Rings. So I, I, don't, I don't understand why uh, they have to spend... I'm going to challenge you on that one. I can't one see you, <laughs> but I'm going to challenge you. For a million bucks, you could make Lord of the Rings? No. Yes, yeah, I, I, I All could. three movies? No, no, one. One movie. I don't believe Lord it. Lord of the Rings is three movies, bro. Can I ask you? <laughs> yeah, that would be the... For a million dollars, you're going to cram all three into one movie. <laughs> Maybe. So you I'd give me 250000 I can make a uh, fellowship. No problem. I, you know what I 
guarantee you. What did you make for a thousand, Blair? Which project? I. Uh, or Fifty Shades of Grey. Because <laughs> there's a lot of Koopa in that movie. Let me tell you. For a thousand, I wouldn't make Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> no, the, the title is uh, Platform Gilla. What? It's, I think the title in English Gilla. is Jesse makes me happy in my pants. That's what I hear. Okay. It, That's it, what I hear. It's on YouTube. So you awesome. can find it if you want to. I would tell you, if you think you can actually do that, I would make a five-minute short showing everyone what you can do with five minutes. I'll do the then trailer the voice for you. would probably give you a million dollars to make a movie. It's probably true. Because I know people who have made... There was a bunch of shorts people make, a lot of special effects in it, and they make, they, the Hollywood will find it and be like, you, yeah. you did this for five minutes, we're going to give you enough money. So it's or they'll sue the crap out of you. True. I mean, <laughs> if you're ripping For stealing off, this stuff for them. If you're yeah. only making exactly Lord of the Rings, maybe. When, when I first got involved in trailers, I didn't know anything about production. And then, uh, like, talking to my manager, because that's all he did. My first manager just made movie trailers. Mm. It, it cost more than that just to get the rights to the song to put in the oh, trailer. The, the song is... Because, like, we want to get Taylor Swift, whatever's the most popular. We don't care how much money it costs. They're like, it's going to be a million dollars and done. I'm like... Wow. I mean, it's very hard. It's, I'll it's, sing for a million dollars. You? <laughs> it takes You'll a sing lot of Taylor money. Swift? I'd, I would be in a heartbeat. Can you do that? Can you do that? Peter's going to hate, 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 hate. <laughs> I shake it off. I shake it off. Or my, or my favorite, I'm too epic for my voice. <laughs> that's not Taylor Swift. That's right, said Fred, mister. That's John really Manley, right? Exclusive. Can you use that for Give me a million dollars. I'll do that song for you. All right. Um... Did you actually, do we want to answer a question? Or no. <laughs> that question? I mean, I feel like I gave you I, great I advice. Think, I think Felicia nailed it. Is yeah. it. Like you. If you can demonstrate that, yeah. they'll give you money. It's just, it's very hard. People are very, um, I mean, these are huge movies. There will be 300, 400 people just working. Uh, probably, I think they said a Marvel movie, a thousand people work on it. Go look yeah, at the easy. credits Jeez, for the credits Avengers Infinity War. Yeah. It's like 30 minutes, minutes of credits on there. Yeah, <laughs> the credits are incredible. And a lot of, uh, I mean, it's just a lot of people who are very specialized. And not to say that, you know, it has to take that much money. But when you make a huge industry of them and you have to make a ton of them at the same time, I think that's why they're very expensive. Yeah. Don't uh, make a full-length movie for 1000 Make a five-minute $1,000 best damn thing you can make. And yeah. pass that and around. Show people like, like there's, this is there's my actually demo. there's a name for that. I mean, because I've worked on it. They, they call they either call it a pitch or they call or it a demo sizzle reel. reel or so a sizzle it's reel, like yeah. the, your concept, and you take a very low budget. And it's like this is what we're gonna make. Because people, and no, you portal. Use Here's a great yeah. example. Um, a guy named Dan. Um, Dan can't remember his last name. He did a portal short. He did a short about portal. If you look it up, there's a portal fan film, and it was amazing. He is now directing movies for J.J. Abrams because he showed people like for ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. He made this incredible short with all the special effects. And you could have made 10 of those for your budget. He's a huge, huge director now. So it's really great to just maybe make a, a shorter piece that you put everything into and then yeah. show people, this is what I can do, give me money. And that will probably work better for you than making a whole movie. And one of the things uh, about Hollywood is they don't like to give people time. So five minutes is something that they'll watch two versus, minutes, yeah, minutes. they'll watch 30 seconds of that. Yeah, yeah. even if it's like, an nah, amazing three yeah. minutes that you have real people that you could under, like, it's better than Lord of the Rings or whatever. Like, yeah, or you can put it on YouTube and get millions of views and only make $30. And then somebody the will ad, see it. Because somebody's going to make a false content ID claim on you, yeah. and then they're going to get all the money, and you're going to wait three months to fight it. Oh, YouTube. <laughs> all right, good luck. Next question. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey. So yesterday on the Revenge of the Q&A, uh, Jesse told us the story about a vanishing guy in the Warsaw. Yes. Uh, and my question for the other two of you is, do you have some other uh, crazy stories from Poland? S from, uh, I've only been here three days. Yeah, oh, I mean, I, I, I wish I had well, a I got kidnapped. story. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then they called my wife and she says, uh, I saw we, uh, I don't saw a bunch of horses. But I have a very particular set of skills. Did you see? Did you see the? <laughs> did you see the the goats that bash their heads together? I'm gonna see no, that today. No, I didn't. I want to see, see that it. today. Yeah. I don't know that you can. You can only see it at noon. You can only see well, it at now noon. Now or too late. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Plan to be but gone we, for but when I was having dinner last night, like a bunch of just horses came down while I was eating, and my baby was like, <gasps> it was her first horse. Aww. And I took her in her first church. We went to the church, and they were having mass, and she didn't want to leave until after they stopped singing. That's a religious That's baby. so cute. So now Aww. she's, I just, yeah, I basically, my, my child is blessed, <laughs> and she's in love with horses. So yeah. that's what's magical That's happened with Poland with me. Yeah. That's the cutest story I've heard all day. It's really cute. <laughs> I have a video of her face when she was looking at the horses go by, because nobody knew they were coming by, and she just goes. 
<laughs> and then all night she was like, <laughs> it was so cute, you guys. Anyway, it's not a good Polish story, uh, but. But it happened in Poland. That's true. Yeah. And then I emailed, well, my grandmother is Polish and her mother emigrated into, to the United States, immigrated. And um, she, I, I texted her, I was like, hey, uh, I'm in Poland. She's like, oh, we have uh, uh, cousins there. Two of my uncles were murdered in the, uh, in the massacre by the Nazis. Fun story. Get me some, yeah, <laughs> get me some cookbooks. And I'm like, great. So that's- Wait, what? Pause, get me some cookbooks? Yeah. She wants some cookbooks because she reads Polish better than she speaks it now. Gotcha. And she does it to keep up on the language. So I had to go to a, a cookbook store and I There's had a store to, just for cookbooks? I, it, I don't know, dude. I went in the store. And <laughs> the, no, the old cookbook store. Like a bunch of Koopa to me. I don't know. And I looked on the shelf and I was like, I don't understand anything. <laughs> and then I, I was like. pictures of food. <laughs> well, I was like, that's Jamie Oliver. I know that's not a Polish book. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 no. You just bought a Jamie Oliver book in Poland. No, I did. <laughs> that's not Polish cooking. <laughs> you just saw Jamie Oliver and was like, it's Polish. Too you bad. could have bought that in any language. Too bad. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> Work harder. Anyway. Your grandma's going to be like, this is a bunch of Koopa right here. I, I know. Don't. Koopa Poopa. Koopa Dupa. Next question. And somebody not in the right in the middle of the light where we cannot see them. <laughs> hi. I'm back here. Oh, there you are. Okay. Well, that's even worse. Hi, Jesse. Hello. Hi. <laughs> we know each other. Uh, but my question is hey. actually. We're best friends. <laughs> hey. Have you seen his Dupa? <laughs> I, oh, that's going to sound really bad, but I ate his dupa. <laughs> oh. That's the cake. That's a Polish story that was right the cake. there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to hear this story now. <laughs> what? The, yeah. The, it's, I'd rather it's no a one hear this story. story. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, she ate my butt. <laughs> Not like my cake. I had a party. Oh. Yeah. I had a party. Don't make it weird, y'all. <laughs> I, I had a party. And when somebody eats your butt, how is that not weird? It's been weird. <laughs> it's been weird. Let me clarify. <laughs> I had cake, and I was we were cutting this cake up because my birthday was Friday. So dupa cake. And she got yep. the butt. <laughs> of a cake. There no. are, uh, it <laughs> was a, a cake, cake, and there was a picture of me, a little baby me, and there was a butt. Did you get your baby butt? I saw it. Yep. She ate my baby butt. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Butt. How did it taste? She ate your baby butt, baby butt, baby butt, baby butt. <laughs> she ate your baby butt, baby <laughs> We're the only ones. That Is that a it. joke that translates well? <laughs> no. Nope. I understood that reference. She yeah. ate your baby butt. I'm not going to explain it. Next how, question. How did his butt Wait, taste? Wait, that wasn't even nope. a question. I'm I curious. didn't even ask my question. I didn't oh. even get to hear the question. I want to know how the butt tasted, though. Also, it was a good cake. It was it an was, awesome butt. It was butt. delicious. But my your question's for delicious. Felicia. I'm <laughs> aware. Trust me, I'm aware. What's your question? Thank my God. question's for you, Felicia. What? Actually. <laughs> You need to drop the microphone right now. Finally. <laughs> no, yes. I probably shouldn't. Um, so, because I've been a fan of yours since Buffy, oh. uh, and you were, well, you were adorable in there. Oh. But uh, so young. how would you compare working on Buffy with working on Supernatural, apart from, you know, the, the difference in, in um, well, uh, age, <laughs> let's say. I mean, it's true. Spoilers. That was one of my first jobs, you guys. I was a very young baby. And I wore a stupid hat on my head. And uh, then it was amazing. It was a great experience. It was the first big job I ever got because I just moved um, to L.A. after college. And I was looking for work. And I got on this amazing show. I guess the difference is I got a lot more words because my character Vi didn't really talk a lot. But the cool thing about Vi is that in the canon of the comic books, she is the head of the New York Slayers. So she's teaching all the young Slayers in New York how to be Slayers, which I think is super cool. And I survived, which most people on Buffy did not survive uh, at the end of it. Is which, that canonical in the expanded universe? It is canonical in the Buffy universe. Wow. It is true. I mean, the fun part, I, I got hired with like six other girls to be potential slayers. And every episode, one of us would die. So they dropped the script off physically. In the, back in the day, they would drop a paper script on your doorstep at it's night. paper. Paper, yeah. And you got and, to see if you were alive or dead? Yeah. And you would just, Jeez. you would flip to the end and be like, am I dead or alive? And like every week somebody would die. Um, so many shows like that now, like am I going to survive this episode? I know, am I going to survive the episode? And I swear to God, some people just got, like an actor would not like them and they would get killed off. <laughs> I don't know, that's my theory. About uh -huh. one, yeah, about the character got wait, killed, not, wait. they were fine. No, um, but anyway, it was great. I mean, the, the, the difference with Supernatural is that 
Um, I just have a lot more to do, and I was I interacted with the main characters more, and I just think the relationship got built over the episodes to be a real integral character emotionally for the lead character. So, um, working on Buffy also introduced me to Joss, who were, who used used me on many many productions. So it definitely was the most productive thing I've ever most done. Most productive with production. Yeah, exactly. Productive production. Uh, it was a, it was wonderful experience, and I have friends from that show, and I have friends from Supernatural to this day. So. Cool. All my, all my favorite jobs, I've made friends on the set, which is unusual. Sometimes you just go and work and never see them again. So, thank you. Good question. Very good question. Yeah. I really like the butt <sighs> part. I didn't talk about my butt at all. See, guys? We Why is that it? my thing? Why am I the butt guy now? <laughs> we started off with the microphone in your butt, which you started. You and then I did you planted that seed a long yeah. time ago, yeah, you're, physically. You're very anally fixated today. <laughs> Next question. Hi, guys. <laughs> Up. Jesse, how was your birthday? How was your birthday? My birthday was amazing. Um, we went down to a the food hall down, not the one here, but like the one by the rail station, and drank and ate and were stupid. And I watched people dance, and then I shook my butt a little bit. Again with the butts. And uh, it was fun. I had a great time. Thank you to everyone who showed up. For I, that. I would have had a great blessed. time, except that somebody lost my invitation. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I didn't get invited. Aww. I saw it on Twitter the next day. I'm like, oh, it's so funny because I'm in Poland. Uh, and it I was about it me that night, y'all. <laughs> did you have butt cake for your birthday? I did not eat butt. I ate... God, Somebody else it. eat your butt? Stop it! <laughs> stop it! Uh, no, I... Um, it was good cake, and I had fun. And I, we, like, you know, had a good time. It was, it was excellent. They know how to do cake here. Yeah. Like, I think every single restaurant I go to here has cake. And there's cake like at the cafes. I feel like in in the states, people aren't don't appreciate cake as much. It's a lot of uh, it has to be you know bread stuff. Like cake is it has to be free like, range vegan cake, yeah. organically grown on the beach. <laughs> yeah, I really like the, the the whole cake thing. I want to bring that back to my my country. America, yeah. bring we need to make big cake great again, people. All right, people, cake's gonna be huge in the U.S. All right, it's gonna be the best cake. Nobody does cake like we do. Okay. <laughs> Our cakes are huge. We've got all kinds of butt cake. It's very famous butt cake. It's really good. Are you done? I hope he's done. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Never he's done. soon enough. Never soon enough. Next question. Uh, okay. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah. So. Hey. Um, oh, there he is. Yeah. There. Uh, so a few years uh, ago, uh, we had like uh, just introduced himself to Felicia for the last day on TGS podcast, the last time. Then she remembers him after that. But was that super creepy introduction at <laughs> least, <laughs> at least a little bit scripted, or or not? You had no idea he will do this. I don't know. Wait, what did you say? Uh, so remember, remember oh, years ago? Oh, the podcast. Ago? Oh, the one where no. I... <laughs> was I that a scripted moment? No. Question. Oh, was that scripted? No, I had no idea what was going on. That look on my face is just like, what did I agree to do here? <laughs> I was so... And I felt so bad that I... Okay, if nobody knows the story here... Uh, please tell it. Um, <laughs> the story is that... Over the years, I had done a lot of events, and Jesse had actually introduced himself to me several times. No, don't, don't let her lie to you like that. All right. <laughs> Tell the story. I will. She can lie. I'm so, supposed to be the honest um, one. Let's see. Let me see if I can regale them with the list. The first time we met was at a uh, Warcraft party in which a handler told me I needed to get off the microphone because Felicia Day was here. <laughs> and they shoveled me away, awesome. and I went to say hi to you, and this guy was like, no. Wow. That was the first time. Okay, that's not a meeting. No, 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 no. That's no. not an encounter. But we did like, 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 hi, like one of those. Okay, great. That was the first, it was the first time. It was the first in many series. Okay. Um, we then met at another event where I was like, hi, my name's Jessica, because I'm a really big fan, and I just want to say thank you, and I, I love you. And you were like, thank you, that's so nice. Did then we you met talk again. like that? Did you talk like that? Damn right I did. Okay, I was creepy. freaked out. I was like, please like me. Um, <laughs> then I... I gave you an award. I, pre I presented you with an award at a uh, award show. Uh, and then I did it again a second time. And then uh, we met several times after that. Wow. Okay. And, uh, so I was on the <laughs> podcast, and I, I guess every single time I met him, I would say, 
so nice to meet you, because I didn't remember his face. <laughs> um, so then on the podcast, when, I, uh, when they cut to him, because he's one of the hosts of it, he had this creepy thing with a candle. Candles, Kenny G. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like a whole setup. And you were like, girl. I mean, what did you do? I can't even. I've, uh, I, it scarred my memory. I'm scarred. Hey, girl. I so had, nice to see you, girl. You know. That was pretty much what it was. <laughs> and then I flipped through photos of us together. I've been following you for 30 years. I went on the internet and found every photo of us in the same area together and was and like, I literally didn't man, know I who wish there was some was. Kenny G playing right now. I can, this it was great. incredible. I didn't know who he was. I was looking at his face. I'm like, I've never met this guy in my life. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you didn't so, know, but we've been together for a long but I, time. But I'd like to say since that day, since that day, we've been I'm very a big good fan friends. of you. Oh, I'm a oh. huge fan of you. I know. And I do remember you. Your oh. little face, your little cherubic face. Oh. <laughs> cherubic. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 So you, you just have to, to do that seats. in order to get me to remember you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I don't I've, tell I've, anyone that. Don't tell them. <laughs> you just have to really creep me out, and I'll remember you. I've been told you just have to make a better first impression, bro. That's what I've been always yeah. like. If you can't well, make a good impression, people aren't going to remember who you. I am you terrible are. at first impressions. Well, yeah. There's a lot. I of just go, clothes. "Hi, my name is John." They're never going to forget that. <laughs> I've been learning a lot of uh, pickup lines, but I can't remember any of them. You know, uh, one of them was, well, there's one girl. Is she in here? Is Pickup Line Girl in here? Pickup Line Girl. Whoa, wait, what? She's not here. Every single time I've seen her this weekend, she's been like, hey, are you magic? Because something just disappeared. Or something, I can't remember. Wait, guys. what? That's a great Pickup Line. Whoa, 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 whoa. I used that with my wife on our first are, date. Are you magic because <laughs> something just disappeared? What does that mean? I don't remember exactly what. Maybe it doesn't translate in English as well. I don't remember the pickup line. I'm gonna let you know when I get back to the states. I'm gonna go to every. Wait, somebody's somebody's gonna report. What was it? Wait, what? Oh, oh. Fantasy. Are you okay? Tennessee or fantasy? Is this a fantasy or? I heard, I yag a guy, a guy, I yag a guy, a koopa, a poopa. Oh, are, 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 we, are we just doing, are we just doing pickup lines to Somebody, each other? Hold this on. feels like an episode of Whose yeah, Line Is It uh, Anyway at this point. I got the point. F, the C, and the K. Somebody All I need is you. Mike and, and to it was about Tennessee. Are you a ten because you're only ten? I, are you from Tennessee because you're only ten I can see? Okay, that's and you ah. said and you said oh. about Texas. Yeah, no, no, that was the other one. She said one to me this morning about, "Are you magic?" Because I just, something disappeared. Yeah, something disappeared, <laughs> but it wasn't that one. I'm actually from Tennessee. Are you magic? Because something disappeared is. <laughs> I'm gonna go home to my wife. Hey, are girl, you sure she was? Are you magic? Because something just disappeared. <laughs> That isn't. That's not. If even that like, works, if I'm gonna love it, you. Yeah, whoever if you said do it, it in that voice, it'll work. It'd be like you can oh. you can say anything in this voice, and it sounds really cool. <laughs> sure. It makes people happy in yeah, their yeah, pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going, I'm gonna bring okay. her a butt cake, and okay. use that line. That would make me Donald Duck all day. <laughs> Next question. Uh, okay, Jesse. Y yes. Jesse. Please don't make this about my butt yes, or any butts. <laughs> uh, I think that you got probably too much questions now. Thank you. John. <laughs> wow, dude, jeez. Don't John me, you're making me feel bad now. <laughs> John. Where are you? I get here, here, oh. I'm quite near. Right in front of my face, Hello. there you go. Uh, I would like to ask you for a little epic voice challenge. For a little epic voice? In a world, beyond yes. imagination. That's a little epic uh, voice. Can you show us your skill? And present well, yeah, us I can't with show it to you. You can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out of my mouth, so you can't really. I mean, unless it's food, you can't really see anything. You have to give it more context. Like, Wait, okay. Uh, can you please present us with epic voice Witcher series trailer? Witcher. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about. It's a, okay. It's a, for okay. shame. Oh, no, can no, we describe no, it? No, no, just describe. It's Gerald. Um, Gerald, I mean, fuck Gerald. this. Gerald? No! No! All right. In a world where me, Jared had no. butt cake, only on The Witcher no, this what? fall. We're not, we're not going to correct has, this. We're not correcting this. <laughs> That's right. In a world where Gerald... He I'm has gonna, white I'm gonna, hair. I'm going to try, try and describe this to you. He has white hair. There's a Shut guy up. named Gerald. Shut up! And he has white hair, oh. and he has to choose between two women. Trish and... Trish? Trish! And Trish... And um, Jennifer. Jennifer, yeah. Jennifer. 
Gerald has to choose between Trish and Jennifer. Never all, remember all, all this, jeez. <laughs> all while trying to raise his daughter, Cindy. Okay. Go. Go. <laughs> I give it a try. He's just a dad. He's a dad yeah, trying to make it with a Yeah, he's a single sword. dad trying to make it in the world. Yeah. He was a single dad trying to make it in a couple's world. This fall, Gerald, the white-haired man, yeah. must choose who, he will, who he'll be with and who he won't. Between what was their names again? Trish. Trish. And, and Jennifer. Jennifer. Because his kid needed a mom. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. From the guy who spent a thousand dollars to make the Lord of the Rings trilogy <laughs> comes Witcher. The white hair of destiny. Rated PG 13. Starts Friday in theaters everywhere. Damn right. Directed by JJ Abrams and Joss Whedon. Two directors? Guest, <laughs> guest like starring Felicia work. Day. <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't work. Who am I? Am but I Gerald? take up destiny. You are Gerald. I'm playing Gerald, but I have a white wig on. Yeah. I, I'm not going to dye my hair. Felicia Day is Gerald. Yeah. <laughs> this fall, Felicia Day is Gerald. <laughs> yep. Next question. I'd watch that. I'd Hello, watch that. Movie. Too. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay. So first of all, Felicia, you're a great inspiration for Thank me at you. least. Thank you. Uh, since the Guild, I mean, amazing job. Thank you very much. Uh, so the question goes to all of you, but especially for you. But yeah, it's yeah. fine. I, 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 we'll throw them above. We spent so much time talking I about know. his butt. I mean, yeah. okay, yeah. It's, okay, so the question <laughs> is. <laughs> Thank you for moving along very quickly from that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's move on. It, it's a it's a Greek thing. We just go quick. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so practically I want to know what's the recipe for success? Ooh, Which what? is actually classic as a question, but since all of you have different jobs, it's yeah. actually a different you know, answer for each one of you. So I think the recipe to success is being yourself and pursuing whatever dream it is that you have, regardless of what other people's successes are. I think you're right. All of us have different paths in lives, and uh, we all specialize in something we're passionate about. And we've made a career uh, out of the thing that we love versus what maybe people outside us might think of success. Of ex -ex success. I was really ex -ex smart, so I, that word. <laughs> Gerald's having trouble with her words. Yeah, Gerald is failing. Yeah, I guess that would be my tip. What about you? Uh, well, first of all, never let anybody tell you that your dream is a stupid idea. Uh, my, my own parents said, you need to give this up and do That's a real true. job. And they don't realize that this is a real job. And it took my it took my family five years before they would even recognize that I was actually doing this as a career. It, it took my mom finding a Star Wars toy, and this, she's like, "Is that your voice?" I'm like, "Mom, I've been doing this for three years now. Like, you can you can hear me on TV and in video games." <laughs> There's like, so uh, don't ever let anybody tell you that your idea is that you what what you want to do is like, no, that's not good. You don't need to do that. Don't let any don't take no for an answer. But my the biggest thing I have because my job. And, and uh, actors too, like on screen, is constant rejection. You get rejected way more times than you actually get work. Never ever give up. Just keep on going, no matter what. Uh, I think Mark Ruffalo said he had to try out, get turned down 500 times before he got the Hulk. So I mean, yeah, if Mark Ruffalo had to work that hard, you know, so yeah, I'm just, I, I never quit. Every time somebody sends me something, they're always like, "You probably don't want to do it." Yeah, absolutely. I'll give it my best shot. Whatever it is, I'll just, I'll try. I'm not, I'm not gonna say no or I can't. I never say can't. I always say I, I will try. I'll do my best. Actually, this is true. Uh, you always hear people talk about like being at the right place at the right time, that kind of stuff. But you won't be there unless you're already just doing. Just like if you have an idea or you have a, something you want to go for, just do it. Like That's the key. And uh, accepting that no matter what, at the very, very beginning, um, it won't immediately work out for you. Like, just get ready to uh, enjoy the struggle of whatever it is you want to achieve because it's a fluke to be successful at the beginning of anything. And you have to think of, be it acting or voiceover or acting whatever like an idiot. Yeah, whatever the hell I do. <laughs> um, that when you start, no matter what, you aren't necessarily going to be great at it. And you just need to keep going and learning and growing and over time, you will, if you stick with it, be better and better and better, just like everything that you practice and do in life. And so you need to go into whatever you set your heart and mind to um, 
knowing that, and not expecting success. Like, do it because you love it. Don't do it because you want to make a buck. Because there are, it's, it's just like sports or anything else. There is the people we see on TV who are super successful, and we're like, we could be them. And there are many, 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 many people who are not those people who have tried. And uh, you just need to, like, go for it and just put everything in your being behind it and don't stop even when people are, like, pooping all, or cooping all over you. You keep doing it. And that's really what it's about. It's about just keep, like, never quitting and just follow your dream. It's the truth. That would, that would make a really great slogan, too. Just do it. I think, it, yeah. I think you might have you on to something. Just do it. Thank just you. do it. Thank you. Yeah. 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 You get maybe, a maybe for something sports related. I came up with that on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should trademark that right away, dude. Yeah, like, should, right now. Should. Just do it. Trademark. Have I told you about my new logo? It's like a swoosh. It's yeah. great. Oh, boy. Cool. Yeah, like, yeah. A, like a backwards check mark. Nobody's yeah, done that like, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, the, the Greek god of victory, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Next. So. Uh, oh, there's part two. There's part two. There's part two. The sequel. The sequel, of course. It's. I don't want to make it trilogy. I like so. the first question better, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say about sequels. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so after everything you answered and you said, uh, what do you think it was the thing that drove you to do this? Like, what was your inspiration? Oh, hell, I... Mainly passion. Oh, sorry, Just... deep questions. No, no, this is easy. I, I, was, I was jobless at the time. I was a teacher, oh. and I got... Like, they let us all go. They, like... We all got fired, and so I had no money and nothing oh. to do, and I started making videos on the internet for fun because I literally had nothing to do during my day. And here I am. So, yeah, that's how that works. Wow. It's, it's so funny that you said that. Yeah. Because I, I, I had started professionally in voiceover, uh, but I was just doing it part-time, a little local, really small stuff, and same thing. Like, the, the economy crashed, and that was my job, too. They went bankrupt. Yeah, and my, my wife's like, well, what, maybe try the voice thing full time. And that's so, truly like, I, I feel like desperation. Uh, yeah, desperation. That's my answer. Desperation. The ability to have enough time and desperation, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, I mean, I started making videos because at the time there was no YouTube and I wanted to be, I guess philosophically, I wanted to be seen in a way that I wasn't being seen and create in a way and have people understand my voice in a way that, that, they didn't understand me. And that's why I wrote a script about gamers because people didn't see me as a actress lead and they didn't understand gaming the way I loved it. And so I think a lot of it is trying to communicate yourself. And each one of us has a unique point of view in the world, whether we appreciate that about ourselves or not. And I think the more you discover these things about yourself, you can turn them into creation that pe other people can relate to and understand you more. And mm -hmm. the more we understand each other, the more we understand ourselves and the world. And I think on a fundamental level, that's what I started doing. And I did it in a world where- In a the world. Internet, in the world <laughs> where the internet was very new. And I was very fortunate to learn quickly that I loved communicating to people who understood me. And most of those people were online versus in Hollywood. So that's why I stuck with the internet because I did feel more understood by people, and I, I felt like I was getting my creativity out in a way that felt very fulfilling versus what I was doing for a living, which was doing commercials and not really acting as much as I wanted. So yeah, I guess if you have uh, the ability to discover that voice inside of you that you want to communicate, then find a way to communicate it, whether it's through art or uh, whatever expression. It could be through mathematics, it could be through science, it could be, but whatever it is that sparks your passion, is what we should be doing in this world. Can I tell you guys something amazing? Yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of passion, you won't remember this. I know you won't remember this. Is there a 31st time that you met her before? <laughs> it, was, it was the first time. So I too, uh, spoiler, I'm a giant nerd. So I, I, I've watched like everyone else from a distance at like Felicia and all the things you've done. But uh, years ago, 2012-ish, one of the first things I did on the internet is when uh, World of Warcraft Cataclysm was coming out. Wow. I made a interactive map of the entire world and what the changes were going to be to that world. So when you went to YouTube, you click on each zone. <gasps> and uh, They took away South Shore. I'll never forgive them. And I, I did like a whole video series. Like when you clicked on it, it would take you to the video about that zone. And there was a tweet by a Miss Felicia Day that was like, this is amazing. 
You guys should really check out this video. Really? I'm not joking. I had no idea. I that remember still those doesn't videos remember you. Because I remember, like, I was so upset about what they were taking away from me. I, yeah. I, I wrote, actually wrote a, a pilot about South Shore Inn. What, years ago, for it never got made, but I wrote a pilot in World of Warcraft. It was like a, a funny animation thing. And I was obsessed with South Shore. It was my favorite, like that whole region. And when they were took it away with Cladoclasm, my heart was broken. And I remember watching your video. That was your video? Yeah. <laughs> the more the you know. Yeah. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah. Well, I've, I've, always, I've always thought of you as kind of a pioneer because Thank you. The gaming's always been, you know, directed mainly at, at male at males and yeah. with female gamers. Like, same thing when we, when we were kids. Like they, when He Man was out, they didn't realize that a big chunk of their sales were going to girls, but they didn't yeah, market their hot. stuff to girls. And you were like the voice of the people. Like, well, yeah, we you. play games too. We're yeah. we're here. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I mean, this con is very representative. Like, there's m many girls and many, like equal women and men. And ten years ago, this would not be the case. And I love this. It's so wonderful to go to conventions and see. Everyone just loving what they love, regardless of where they came from and who they are. So it's wonderful. So thank you, guys. Thank you. Next question. Um, hi there, Felicia. Yeah. I have a question for Felicia. Yep. Um, like in Supernatural, no one really dies because it's like TV series and it's really long. But mm -hmm. like, where you? <laughs> Were you prepared that you will come back on Supernatural, or you were like, no, Charlie's 100% dead? Spoilers! <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. I mean, Thanks. there's a spoiler. I might come back. Um, <laughs> no, I, I was, I'm excited to be back. I mean, not only selfishly, I just love being on the set. Um, I love the character, and I think there's so many interesting ways to go with the character um, kind of revisiting, um, because she's the same character, up until five years ago, you know? So yeah, she's like little sister for exactly. everyone. Exactly, and I think uh, I love the show so much, and I love the fact that um, they might have more women on the show, and I think she's very important to Dean, um, and, and I think, especially the relationship with Dean, I think it's really beautiful. So I'm hoping that that gets revisited in the future. Force but, ghost. Yeah. Are you coming back as a force ghost? Oh, no. I, I don't know. Come on. You're force. Are they, they have Jedi powers? No, I'm not Man, a force Supernatural ghost. Supernatural gets just, better and better. Guys, okay, I'm sorry. You say it's true from a certain point it's, of view. It's, uh, <laughs> anyway, just watch to find out. From okay, my bye point bye. of view, the Jedi are evil. That would be amazing. I must go to Dagobah. <laughs> my, my dream character is Marge. Gerald. I'm his. Marge Jade's amazing. She's I'm not even in the canon. I are know you going to come back as Gerald? Yeah, I'll come with back. With white hair. It won't be Charlie. It'll be Gerald Ooh. with a white hair and a patch. I got to get back to my wife, Trish. Trish? Yeah. Yeah. Next question. Force ghosts. It's me. Huh? Hello? The choice has been made. Yeah. It's Trish. It's Trish or... No, I, I would... Oh, no. I definitely always pick Trish. Who'd you pick? Who'd I pick? Yeah. Shawnee, please. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's fine. Listen, go with who you want to. I, you can in that game. It's great. You can go every way you want. You can Actually, you can go every way in that game. It's true. Yeah. If I could just date everybody in Dragon Age, I'd be so much happier. We should all be a commune, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Let's talk, talk about it. Anyway, next question. Yeah. Uh, so this is for John. Uh, so I'm a big fan of the Nostalgia Critic, uh, and you collaborated with him, and I was just wondering how that was. Like, great. <laughs> Should you like elaborate? Uh, no? Well, I mean, I wasn't. Uh, no, I wasn't super familiar with with any of their stuff beforehand. Um, we ran into each other. We were guests at a convention together, and they're like, "Oh, dude, you're on. You were working on Australia." Like, we love your stuff. And he's like, "Can can you?" And then they found out that I do other voices. Like, they were like, "Holy crap, you can sound pretty much like anybody. We got tons of stuff you can do." I'm like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." Uh, and they were always really, really gracious to like throw people to my channel, and I got so many subscribers from them which I don't usually get that from a lot of the channels that I work for. Because I, <laughs> I work for so many big channels and not one person really knows that I have my own stuff. <laughs> so it's like I can do for other people what I can't do for myself, but you know, whatever. I'm, I've always been kind of a pay it forward, help other people kind of person regardless of you know, getting anything in return. But that, yeah, they were always really kind to me. And they, uh, the only thing I did not, because I was so used to honest trailers, the only thing I did not know was that they didn't censor their videos. <laughs> so <laughs> things I normally would not would say knowing that they're going to be bleeped out with the... Uh, with a motherfucking T-Rex. <laughs> I was not prepared for that at all. 
I was like, because then the video played, and then everybody's like, hey, can you say that line? I was like, I didn't know they were actually going to put that in there. <laughs> but yeah, they were always really kind, and they kind of let me, they, unlike Honest Trailers, they pretty much stick to the script really closely. I mean, I try to throw improvise in there every once in a while, but with, with Nostalgia Creek, they're like, just go, no, you do whatever you want. Like, you can do what's in the script, but you just do whatever you want. So yeah, it was, it was really fun. And they let me do, like, one of the things that I do on my own social media now is where because I can, I can sound like a lot of people, but I, I don't look like anybody. And like on, on the shows where other people play actors as, as in comedies and stuff, they'll give them, they'll do makeup and all these things that I cannot do. But then now we have filters that you can put the faces on. So then they let me be John Malkovich with John Malkovich's actual <laughs> face on, and that was very interesting to me. So <laughs> it was just so much fun that they 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 give me so much freedom just to play, and it's it's a really a lot of fun to work with them. Thank you for the question. Appreciate it. Mm. Next question. Hello there. Uh, next question to Johnny. So Johnny. I'm Johnny. Yeah. Johnny. Only my great grandfather calls Johnny. me Johnny, bro. Johnny. 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 Here's Johnny. <laughs> like make it a little bit more interesting. So I will ask you like a few questions to you. And it depends on what answer you will get. Then so I it's like a choose your own adventure. Yes. Oh, we're suddenly, first of oh all, we're suddenly in his okay, talk first, show. Okay, first question. Do you know Pablo Francisco? Not personally, no. Not personally? But I don't, did, if, did, if did any you, of you get the chance did, to see the video on the internet you, did of you, him actually did trying little, to do a real movie trailer did, voice, it's hilarious. Did you see the little tortilla boy <laughs> well, trailer? Well, that's, that's actually part of my story. So when I, I didn't, I didn't always could, do could the movie you do trailer this? voice. Could you do this right You're going to let me answer the question? No, no. This is like request. Like There is no question. He wants you to do it. Well, let me let me just explain okay. the story. It's a very short. No, he story, doesn't want to hear the story. <laughs> yeah. The well, reason the perform. reason why I started doing the movie trailer voice was because my brother found Paolo Francisco on the internet, and he's like, "Guy, you got John, you got to listen to this guy." And he just did this whole thing. He was like, "In a world in the city, you must fight to survive." And I know, and he's like, "I bet you could do that better than he does." And so I started listening to it, and then the Geico commercial came out with Don LaFontaine. Yeah. He was like, "Her car was totally underwater," and I was I was like, "That's the voice he's trying to do." So yeah, I memorized that entire thing. He was, he sold tortillas on the corner and the mob wanted in. Listen to me, they're after my tortillas, come on. <laughs> Maria, come on. <laughs> Double the action. <laughs> Triple yeah, so that's, excitement. That's yeah. kind of like, that's kind of like my, my introduction to the movie trailer voice. Because I never really Get paid attention again. to it before that. And I'd, after that, I started practicing it, and then I started listening, finding the different voices and listening to how each one of them sounds. Because there's a lot of different genres of trailers out there. You know, you have the guy who did The Odd Life of Timothy Green, and then you have The Horror of Grindhouse, and then you have, you know, the standard action voice, and then you have the family-friendly voice, Smurfs, on Blu-ray and DVD. You know, there's so many genres. So, yeah, part two, I guess. <laughs> okay, Smurfs. And, this guy's going to get all the other questions. He's got... <laughs> and the last one, the last one. Let's imagine that you are... Uh, Mechanic, I'm the client, I'm coming to you to say the price of the repair of my car and just only say with your voice an arm and a leg. That's all. <laughs> it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Thank you, man. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I, didn't li I was like, that's a dumb thing to ask. And then I was yeah. like, oh yeah, that was great. Oh, you should see me when I go through the drive-thrus. <laughs> 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 I... I held up. I, I held up a drive through for eleven minutes, just going as Christopher Walken. Was like, do you have mayonnaise on your burgers? I mean, come on, it's crazy. You can't have a sandwich without mayo. Come on. <laughs> They're like, let me check. Hang on. <laughs> Amazing. Next. I was like, and then no, I finally ordered. I was like, no mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. All right, so um, imagine if Marvel were, were to make a superhero movie out of free. They've never of made you. a superhero movie before? <laughs> I'm really no. confused right yeah, now. No. That's a really good idea. They should get it. They should get that guy $1,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> copyright, copyright. No, uh, they would make a superhero movie out of free of you. And what would, we, what would be your superpowers? Do we have to have new superpowers? Yeah, new ones. No, you have to new it. It the has power to be. Of butt. You can't just be. <laughs> butt power is activate. Yeah. Doopa Koopa. He just, he just Koopas Doopa out some cakes and he throws them at people. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. Her hair turns white. Wait, turns whoa, into Daryl. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and, all right, I need to know what your powers are so then I can be the third member who just throws poop. Please let okay. me know. You can be Steve. I would, I would be able to speak all languages, including animal languages, and I would have butterfly wings, 
And in the night, I would sparkle. Like a real vampire. Yeah. <laughs> and my name would be Glitter, Gerald. Glitter Butter. <laughs> Glitter Butter. Okay, glitter, glitter. Go, go, John. What? Uh, I've always, people ask me all the time, like, what, what would, if you could pick any superpower, I would like to be Mystique, man. Like, to have, to be able to, no, even you're your to, own, even to you voice. are, you can't be Because, I mean, yeah, you use your epic voice to, like, copy anybody, get through any security, you can change your voice, like, you know, to sound like anyone. Yeah, but you have to make up your own power. Yeah, you gotta make you up your make own up superhero. Power that doesn't exist. Yeah. They're all, they've all been own... done. Every no. superpower that has been done. Yeah, there was one right totally there. totally original. Glitter butter totally original. Oh, man, I think, uh, Like, I can shoot fruit from my butt. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could lactate from my eyes and just like milk everyone. <laughs> whoa, whoa, time out. Time out. Time out. Let me set up this movie. Milk eye. Guy for $1,000. This is your next movie. <laughs> Felicia Day stars as Glitter Butter. Glitter Butter. Glitter Butter, the fruit pooping. Multilingual. Multilingual. multilingual butterfly. Butterfly woman who. No, are you even a person who's just a little butterfly? Butterfly. <laughs> Who flies around and poops out fruit, and then our newcomer Johnny, Milk Eye. Our new, Johnny, our newcomer, John. who oh, he's just a guy the young who squirts who milks out of his eyes, who squirts milk out of his eyes. Johnny newcomer, and then just me who throws poop. Jesse, your name would be Koopa. Yeah, I'd be Koopa. Koopa Dupa, Dupa Koopa. And um, I think the best way to end this, because we're getting a time symbol, oh, a time the best way to end this stage. is for you to do the trailer for this movie. Yeah, do the trailer for the movie. Jeez. Yeah, for this, for this movie where it's a butterfly, a guy who throws poop, Johnny. and an eye lactating man. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. From just... Marvel Studios. <laughs> <laughs> the movie you never knew you wanted to see comes Flutter Butter with the power of fruit poop. Wait, if you poop! Lactating eye man. Our powers with the barf power barf. to okay, milk. I, wait, wait, let's retcon this. <laughs> I can barf fruit. <laughs> okay? Fruit barf. Yeah, your powers don't exactly like. No, no, fruit barf. You're like the Wonder Twins of poop. <laughs> <laughs> no, my Koopa powers, powers activate! My, my <laughs> I didn't know that butterflies had mouths. Oh, Where does it come from? I have a precipitous. That slowly, like, vomits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really slow. Oh. The villain will be defeated in 10 years. Because <laughs> we're still waiting for the fruit barf. Wait, how do we defeat villains? What is the... Because they're lactose intolerant. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah, thank really, you so really much. Really, really appreciate Koopa, it. Thank the you. movie.